Hello, good evening and welcome to a small chamber organ at Hamble Park. And this instrument is tuned in mean tone temperament. And I'm doing this video this evening to answer the question, do beat notes occur, um, and even nasty ones indeed, with pipe organs? Well, here we have an 1850s, very sweet four-stop pipe organ, and we're going to hear the beat notes. The pipes are behind a false screen of pipes, and we'll take those off in a minute. And this instrument is foot pumped. So the electric wires here are to do with a loudspeaker. There you are, there's the connection to the loudspeaker in the corner. Made it inconvenient. And we're going to look at the open diapason stop here. And I'm going to give to you two examples of a chord that's in tune and a chord of outs that's out of tune. I've pumped this about five times, which will give us a little bit of wind. Now there, I can hear a note that's quite in tune. When I pump it, you'll hear a variation. There, I can hear quite clearly, and it might depend on where the camera or where my ears are. Oh. It's beautifully in tune. I'm going to go to the next. Oh. That's just slightly sharp. Let's go to the key of F. So that interval produces that note as it should. Or when I move the camera around it might change, might get stronger, but you can hear that there. So that's beautifully in tune, and that is a concording chord. I call it a rooted chord, because all of these notes are harmonics in the harmonic series. Now, if we go to an unrooted, uh, uh, just sorry, an out-of-tune chord in mean tone, such as this, the notes of this chord are unrelated to their, what should be the normal root of the chord. So that... Oh, oh, I think I can hear... I think I can hear that note rather than anything else. It's not very clear here. And I'm going to take the front off the organ so that we might be able to hear these notes more clearly. Now the um, case of this produces a baffle and makes it rather more difficult to hear the pipes directly. But in the front here we've got the two foot rank and then we've got the four foot principle here and then we've got the bordon a sort of stop diapason behind and then we've got the open diapason at the back and the bottom octave uses stopped pipes so there we've got the four foot long in other words eight foot equivalent length for the uh, bottom octave of the stop diapason so sorry, sorry of the open diapason and i think we've got some extra diapason pipes here, um, I'm getting quite confused. They must be, um, or perhaps no, they're the bottom octave of the four foots. So there you are, that's truly a four foot pipe for this rank of pipes here. There's our four foot stop. We've got an eight foot as well. The eight foot is probably in operation there. So that's our four foot rank, and there's our eight foot rank, and there's our two foot rank. So here at the edge here, we've got our literally our two foot pipe, which is the equivalent of two foot at that point there. So I have to keep pumping. Right, digression. We're going to hear these beat notes now, now that we can actually put the camera near to the pipes. So. Here's the chord of C major, and this is mean tone temperament, so we've got perfect thirds. And there I can hear... Oh. It might be quite clear as I put the camera near to the pipes. And then we're going to 
hear the same note coming from the next two notes. Very close. So now we can put the two notes together and get a nice concordant chord. And you can now hear without me having to play it. But let's play it. It's oh, there. Now I'm going to go to F major. And there you can hear. And the two notes together produce. Oh, oh. Now we're going to play the major third above, and that will make the same note. Oh, slightly sharp. Oh, oh, oh. So it sings nicely, and when we put the other notes together. It's all in concordance. But in contrast, when we go to the sharp key, which of course in an unequal temperament, especially mean tone, is almost unusable, but F minor produces inexpressible grief. Oh, oh, oh. You can hear oh. producing a B flat. Oh. And that's producing a B flat too. So the F minor chord actually produces an F a B flat bottom note. Oh. And we could if when I press B flat we'll hear it beat. Use the true B flat, it will beat with the beat note. Oh, 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 oh. You can hear that though. So let's go to C sharp or D flat here. Oh, that's nasty. Yes, I think that's producing an E flat. So when I now push the E flat, it will beat not, not heavily. Now I'm going to go to the A flat, and that is. Oh. It's difficult to hear these beat notes. It's very strong, isn't it? Oh. Oh. So that's producing the B flat, and that one's producing an E flat. So this chord is producing B flat and E flat as well as as beat notes. And that's why that really sounds unpleasant. It's thoroughly disconnected. It's an unrooted chord because these notes are not related to the normal harmonics in terms of a root in the same way as that is. So the tension and nastiness will release something beautifully pure. So that's how unequal temperament really produces colour, but you can hear there the nasty beat notes for in the chords. Now we're going to go to the piano over here, where um, we can probably hear the same even with piano strings. And oh, here's a loudspeaker I've been modifying for somebody um, to play with the organ. And uh, I'm going to take the music stand out so that we can see the strings more easily. So I'm going to play in the treble register here, and I'm going to play the F and the A. And I think you'll hear it. Oh. 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 And there you can hear the same if this was an equal temperament, which I loathe, that wouldn't that note would actually be something like 
Oh, boy, about a quarter tone sharp. It would normally be foul. But listen, this is wonderful because when you play the key of F, that produces the note, that produces the same note, and so when I produce the F as well, it all harmonises and is in concordance. Let's um, play C major. Same beat frequency is produced, and so I hardly need to press because it's there in the chord. And so when we have a chord of C major, it's beautifully in booted. <laughs> 